<laughs> so, trigger warnings. Oh, I fucking hate you, Milo. Trigger warnings are extremely controversial. And your voice. I hate your voice, too. Your fucking nasally voice. I want to I wanna kick it with my foot bone. And there's something that almost everyone online has opinions about. If you're watching this video, you probably have your own opinions about trigger warnings. You're damn right I do. I think they're pandering to a generation that's used to getting a medal just for participating and anyone who requires a trigger warning is an oversensitive child who just needs a fucking slap. The conversations that I see around trigger warnings tend to center around why you should or should not use trigger warnings and thus the conversations about trigger warnings are very impersonal. Wow. Do you know you managed to speak for 30 seconds without actually saying anything at all? It can be hard to talk about your personal triggers online because that is obviously, if it's something that's triggering to you, it's very personal. Yes, yes, very personal. Yeah, yeah. Better upload it to the internet then, eh? And generally people just it's none of anyone else's business what your triggers are because we don't include many personal experiences in these conversations about trigger warnings. Are you mad? It's nothing but people's personal experiences. Just try to get a snowflake to shut up when they're triggered. They will tell you exactly why they are triggered with a level of detail that rivals the CGI from the Lord of the Rings. You walk away from that conversation knowing their allergies, the name of their childhood dog and their favorite fucking font. I feel like people really don't understand how trigger warnings actually work and what it means to be triggered. Isn't it something to do with not being able to function in the real world without special treatment? Kind of like a disabled person except their requirements are genuine and you are being a little bitch. Since that is a joke online that just completely misunderstands what trigger warnings are and what it is like to be triggered. No, no, we, we do get what they are, Milo. It's just that I will chow down on a bucket of dicks, and I mean really get in there, before I entertain any notion of you being special. If people can come back from war zones and carry on with their lives, you can get over yourself. First and foremost, being triggered is different from being offended. Whereas you can somewhat choose to or to not be offended by something. Oh my fuck, I'm gonna remember you said that. One day, one day it'll pay off. Just wait. Being triggered is completely involuntary. No, an epileptic fit is involuntary. Do you remember the warnings you used to get in the manuals for Game Boy games? That is probably the only acceptable trigger warning, and even then, people still didn't give a fuck. Being triggered inhibits your ability to focus on whatever it is that you're supposed to be doing or supposed to be thinking or talking about. So if someone is debating you or arguing you or acting offended, they're probably not triggered. Or they've taken their ADHD medication and are absolutely fine. Being triggered is a damaging emotional response, usually related to anxiety or PTSD. PTSD? Fuck, I didn't realize you did a tour in Iraq, Milo. My mistake. And thank you for your service. Or a lot of other mental illnesses. Haha, <laughs> they're the only two you know, aren't they? Fucking busted. Being triggered can include having anxiety attacks or flashbacks, but those are things that I don't really experience. I'm glad you decided to talk about it then? So I wanted to talk about what I do specifically experience and what triggers are like to me. I want to say that I personally don't get triggered that often. That's just, I mean that's just not very believable, is it? I can probably count the amount of times that I have been triggered on one hand. So that could be up to eight times then, couldn't it, you fucking inbred? That's how infrequently I get triggered. Generally, things have to be pretty graphic in order to trigger me. Uh, for example, I can't watch the movie Boys Don't Cry. I think that's normal though. I mean, I, I can't watch that shit either. For me, triggers are typically just really extremely emotional. How the fuck did you do that? You just spoke without moving your lips. Wait, I'm doing that now. Fuck. 
uncontrollable responses where I'll just have really, really extremely heavy emotions where I'll probably cry or have really, really, really um, harmful thoughts or urges of self-harm. Ah, don't worry about that, Milo. I mean, you could charge people to do it for you. You'd make a fucking mint. For me, if I am triggered, I feel very detached from the real world. I feel very in my own world with my own thoughts and it kind of feels like things are just happening around me that I, I can't interact with because I just have these very extremely intense emotions that may be related to memories or destructive thoughts. Well then see a fucking therapist, you nonce. You can't go through life expecting people to either avoid certain subjects or forewarn you before talking about them. If these memories are causing this, then sort it out because it's affecting your ability to function. Or whatever it may be. Until I started to recognize what my triggers were, being triggered felt like I was being extremely emotional and couldn't figure out why. I know why. It's because you're being extremely emotional. And a bit of a cunt. It felt like I was just... My emotions were just out of control, and I had no idea why I was feeling the way I was feeling. Hmm. Does this happen, say, once a month for around four days? Maybe coincides with the wall of your uterus breaking down and exiting through the vagina we all know you have? We know you have one, Milo. Shaving the sides of your head doesn't change that. There are some TV shows that I can't watch because they can trigger certain nightmares for me related to the trauma that I have experienced. What's the trauma, Milo? What's the damn trauma? You can't say that and then leave it unless you're intending to come across as damaged. Oh wait, I think that's it. Carry on. Once I tried describing a certain time when I was triggered to my therapist and Oh shit, you do have a therapist. Okay, yeah, my bad, my bad. I bet your therapist needs a fucking therapist though. And I described it kind of like dissociating and then she used a different word to describe it, but I forget what it was. Yeah, it was only your mental health she was talking about, no need to pay attention. Something I will also do is intentionally trigger myself if I am having some really not great feelings and I just want to wallow. You intentionally trigger yourself. Is that how non-binaries masturbate? Or if I am feeling some feels and I don't know how to process them, I'll just like Nope, Milo cancelled. You're, you're out dealing with these fields for the rest of the time. You just go deal with them and be incapable of doing anything else for however long it takes to wear off. For you know, you seem almost proud that you have to put yourself out of action because you don't know how to process your feelings. That's really fucked up, Milo. But then you are of the mindset that the more damaged you are, the cooler you are. I wonder just how much of your personality is a cry for attention. For me, it's kind of like feeling like I need to cry and then not being able to cry. Like that, what do I do with these emotions? For fuck's sake, Milo, you really need to start writing scripts for these videos. You just missed an excellent constipation analogy. I don't do that often, but I have done it a couple times and... Unfortunately, it's something that I did to myself last night. Next up, what I did to myself last night. Because I got home from my Thanksgiving break and didn't know how to feel. What trigger warnings do for me and why they are helpful is that they allow me to prepare in advance for dealing with whatever trigger is ahead. But you can't deal with it, Milo. You've just given us examples of you being unable to deal with that. How the fuck is a warning supposed to change that? Did you cut your hair too short and accidentally snip the part of the brain that deals with reason? Holy shit, is that the trauma you went through? For example, I will know to practice grounding techniques if there is a trigger coming ahead because grounding is how I deal with a lot of triggers. And electrocution. Instead of preventing discussions, it allows me to like engage those things because I can actually be a functional human. Whoa, 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 preventing discussions. So if you can't talk about them, then no one else can. Are you the fucking conversation police? 
I bet you don't get invited to parties, Milo. So they actually allow me to engage in more conversations than I would be able to without trigger warnings. See, now I don't think that's true. I think you want to feel some sense of importance. Either that or you need it reaffirmed that someone actually wants you to be part of the conversation so you make people jump through your twatty little hoops. Lick my lefty, Milo. I hope that is helpful in some way. It's important to remember that there are real people who find trigger warnings useful and people who you see in those triggered memes are not actually triggered in that instance. No, of course they're not. That's the point. We're taking the mickey out of you and your ilk, Milo. Fuck, even a kid knows when they're at the wrong end of a joke. Although they may deal with the triggers in their lives, I don't know them. I actually have nothing to say to that. I just needed a break from your fucking voice. Only a minute or so to go, guys. Hang in there, yeah? Be strong. I will put some more resources about trigger warnings and being triggered in the description that you can check out. Because I'm not an expert on the topic by any means. Well then, wh what the fuck was all this? I could have mislabeled something of my own experiences as being triggered when it wasn't. I... Mm, or, you know, whatever. I'm not a psychologist. I don't know how to describe my experiences other than just, you know, in my own words of how I think I experienced it. Oh, for f is English your first language, Milo? Fucking hell, if you're gonna say this may or may not be total bullshit, at least put it at the beginning of the fucking video. That's the kind of warning you should be looking into. Oh, well, thank you very much for watching, guys, and remember... The more mentally ill you are, the more friends you will have.